I love Fox News. And not just because Tucker Carlson wants to start a race war, and I find that exciting. No. I love everything about Fox. And this morning, I saw them make the greatest transition in TV news history. I'm going to play it for you. I want you to notice how they flawlessly pivot from one news story to the next. Watch carefully. We are on the cover of Potato Chips. Oh, Only yeah. RT. Not That's me, right. though. It's not Potato now. Chip Day. That's not me. I Need some dip with that. Good morning, everybody. Breaking news right now from London. Moments ago, the British Prime Minister, Theresa May, officially putting Russian Vladimir Putin on notice. She says Russia is guilty in that nerve agent attack. Oh, seamless. <laughs> They went from potato chips to nerve agent attacks in only five words. <laughs> Play it again, Chuck. Potato chip day. That's not me. I Need some dip with that. <laughs> oh, oh. Need, yeah. Need some dip with that. Get it? Because dip is where chips go. But also, Russia tried to murder a man. <laughs> now. Could Bill Hemmer have said nothing before transitioning from chips to attempted assassination? Sure. It would have been very, very easy. Perhaps even the obviously correct thing to do. But that's why Fox is great. They're never satisfied. They're always working, improving. Take their slogan. It used to be fair and balanced. That slogan worked perfectly. Captured, say, John Stossel dressing up like a homeless man to demonstrate that charity is wrong. It just fits. <laughs> But Fox decided to get rid of that slogan, not because it was in any way flawed, but because they wanted something even better. And after a blissful few months with most watched, most trusted, they're now switching it up once again to, drum roll please. Fox News, real news, real honest opinion. Whoa, whoa. You know Fox is really real because they say it two times. Compare that to MSNBC. Their slogan is, and I'm not making this up, this is who we are. I mean, come on, don't admit that. That's what losers say when they've accepted that they'll always be miserable. MSNBC is your drunk uncle stumbling around the family reunion, his shirt's not buttoned right, he smells like Jim Beam, he looks you dead in the eyes and says, this is who we are. But not Fox. Their new slogan is great for two reasons. One. It lets you know their news is real. Two, it lets you know that other news must not be real, but in a classy, subtle way. It's genius. In fact, it inspired me to come up with a new slogan for the opposition. The opposition, the late night show that doesn't hurt cats. <laughs> Does that mean other late night shows do hurt cats? I mean, who's to say? Not me, I'm just saying the opposition is the late night show that does not hurt cats. Isn't that right, Kobe? Oh, hi there. Jordan, I'm proud to say that I work for the late night show that does not hurt cats. We're not saying other late night shows do, but is that their slogan? I mean, if other late night shows weren't secretly punting cats on the reg, wouldn't they say so? Does Trevor Noah throw a tabby in a tight spiral into an open furnace? While Seth Meyers shovels calicos off the side of his private yacht, <laughs> Trevor and Seth laughing the whole time, ha, 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 ushering cat after cat into cat hell. Is that what they do? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what they do. No, Tim, no, Tim, Tim, no. We're not saying that. We are saying that. No, we are not, Tim. You literally told me to stand here and say that. No, no, I, I did not. No, all we're saying is that we don't hurt cats. And if any other late night show wants to claim that they don't hurt cats either, well, they better have some damn good lawyers because that is copyright infringement.